Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've done a lot of travel, both domestically and internationally. And whenever I travel, I really like to travel as light as possible while not compromising on my tech gear. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite travel tech gear. There's a couple things I would recommend people pack when they travel. The first thing you want to look at is the type of connectors that you'll be having on all your tech gear. One thing I recommend is that people try to get devices that have USB-C connections. USB-C is an industry standard connector for transmitting both data and power on a single cable. So the purpose of this is really to produce having to carry so many different cables with you. Now, one of the most critical tech items you should have with you is some type of smartphone with a long battery life, great camera, and some kind of great protective case. This is gonna be a, a key item in your tech gear because you're gonna be using this item more than anything else. You're gonna count on it for directions, for translation, for researching things. So having a good smartphone is essential. Now, aside from the smartphone, even though the battery life on these are great, eventually it's gonna run out of power. So what you also wanna bring is some kind of power bank. It's called the Anchor Nano Power Bank, it's 10,000 million. It has a USB-C charger, but it also has a USB-A style port in case you want to bring old tech products with you. So the nice thing about this is if your device supports it, it's able to fast charge a lot of things. For example, this one right here can charge my iPhone 15 Pro Max up to two times. So that basically means I have up to three times the battery life, which should last more than a day with really heavy use. Next up, we have some earphones. These are the AirPods Pro first generation. I do have a set of AirPods Max that I like to use at home, but they're really too big to carry on a trip. So you want to carry something small like these AirPods Pro right here. The nice thing about the AirPods Pro and the Max is that they have active noise cancellation. So when you're on a noisy airplane ride and you want to reduce all that white noise from the aircraft, you can just turn on that active noise cancellation and it really helps you zone in on what you're doing. And as you can see here, it's small enough where you can put in any part of your bag and it's not going to take up any space. So the next thing we have is a pair of smart glasses. If you're an eyeglass user, then this is probably very essential. But even if you just wear sunglasses, then it's worth picking up one of these pairs. So I actually have two of the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. This is just a clear pair, so I can wear this whenever I'm just doing a bunch of normal things. And then if I go out in the sun or if I'm driving, I do have a pair that have tinted lenses as well. But the really nice thing about these Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses is that they have a camera on them that records video and pictures, and there are speakers on the temples. So it allows you to still stay in the moment while recording those moments as well. Now, I actually did a full review on these, which you can click on the link here to see. But I think this is one of those tech products that is really understated at how well it integrates into your daily life. Next up on the list is a laptop. So I have this open because I have my list of items on here to help with my video recording. But this is a 14 inch MacBook Pro. It has long battery life. It's really fast. It has an SD card slot. It's small enough where I don't mind carrying it in my bag. It's less than three and a half pounds. And it has a similar footprint to the 13 inch laptops. So very reasonable size, but doesn't have any compromises. I had a 16 inch MacBook Pro before, but it's way too big to carry anywhere with you. So I would recommend 14 inches or smaller. Now, even though your smartphone can record really nice video and audio, it's worth it to pick up a dedicated camera so that you don't drain the battery on your main smartphone. And the one that I've been playing around with recently is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Now, this is a gimbal camera, which means that it's able to stabilize your video footage and also take pictures as well. I did a whole trip to Texas using this camera and you can find the footage to that if you click the link here. But I found that it's really easy to use. It captures really great video. That battery life is pretty long. And when the battery runs out, it actually charges really fast. Now it's called the pocket camera because when you put everything away, it's a very small compact size. So you can compare it next to my iPhone. So a lot of dimensions seem as smaller than an iPhone, so it's very pocketable. Now I have the Creator Combo, which comes with this nice case. It comes with the DJI mic, has a little tripod stand. It has this adapter right here that has a quarter inch tripod screw mount. And it actually has an extra battery as well. Now, after I tested all of this, I found that the battery life on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 actually lasts long enough where you don't really need this. Uh, you could probably go without this, 
and just carry this little item with you. This attaches to the bottom, which allows you to screw in your tripod. Now you have a really nice, easy way to set up tripod shots, where it just allows you to hold the device a little bit easier. Now the DJI mic automatically syncs with the Pocket 3 camera when it turns on. So I found that this is a really, really nice setup to record high quality footage while not having to carry a bulky camera like one of the interchangeable lens cameras or even one of the bulkier point and shoot cameras. If you're going to be getting a car rental on your journey, then it's worth it to have some type of phone mount on your car. My iPhone has a MagSafe capability on the back, so this is a MagSafe car mount. This is my bell kit. I did a, a review of this product as well, but it's really great because it attaches easily to your car vents, and then you can simply put your phone on there, and it stays in place. Whenever you want to take it off, it's as simple as that. Now, in addition to that, if you're looking for a way to charge your phone while inside a car, this is a cigarette lighter charger that has USB-A style and USB-C. So you're able to charge your Linksy devices as well as your modern devices in one adapter. Now, last but not least is a toiletry item. Alright, this is my Braun electric razor for men. And I like this because it's always useful to have some kind of portable shaver on you. But this one is electric, it's battery powered by just two AA batteries, and it has a nice cover that's integrated, and it's very simple to use. So this is basically all the essential tech gear that I bring with me, no matter where I go, whether it's a domestic trip or international. I recently brought my Apple Vision Pro on my trip to Texas to look at the Eclipse, and I actually found it more troublesome bringing that with me because one, it's a really expensive piece of gear. Two, I had a very limited time window on when it was really practical to use. And three, it just added a lot of bulk to my travel setup. So as you can see here, I always like to travel it as light and as simple as possible. So having to bring this rather huge thing that basically takes up the size of all the stuff on the table right here uh, was more cumbersome than I thought it would be. And I could have just as easily been able to watch my movies on my phone or my laptop that I was gonna bring with me anyways. So this is just the stuff that I bring. Let me know down in the comments what kind of things you bring on your travel adventures.